<laughs> Super cool. <laughs> hey guys, all right. So we are walking over to the welding side of the uh, of this convention. So welding is a real big part of sheet metal or metal fabrication. Um, and there's a whole set of technologies that are super specific to it. And one of the things I'm excited about coming over here is this is where we have all the cool robots. So I'm ready to see some of these cool robots. Who doesn't love robots? So this is a MIG welding robot. Um, and there's two things that are different about this. One, it's on a part rotator, right? So there's, it's basically just a little gantry system and it's rotating the part. Um, this allows the robotic welder to be able to have really optimal angle position. And when actually, I don't know if you guys saw that, but like the robot's actually weaving when it's welding through all this stuff. Um, the robot moved over to a, um, this would be a tip cleaner, right? So this is just part of the optimization part. Um, it cleans the tip, it'll trim it, and then it'll actually measure the TP point um, or like kind of like where the uh, where the uh, the stick out of the actual um, electrode. So super cool. Today we're here at the Kawasaki booth, Infinity Robotics, Integrator Extraordinaires, launching our Augmentus Vision product from Augmentus. This product will find the object in the cell randomly. You take your iPad, once it identifies the object, and you color in the area that you want it to run code on. You hit the go button and it'll automatically generate the code and then start running the robot. So one-off parts, about four to 14 minutes to generate this code. Wow. It used to be four to six hours to do the same task. So, and just, just so I understand this, you can randomly place that part anywhere, anywhere in, that. in that cell. There's some judicials that you want to put it in so the robot can tell size and angle. Okay. So once it's in that pocket, doesn't matter where you set the product down or clamped it down, it'll find the product because you're going to color in the area you want the code to be generated. No more robot programmers. So right now this is using a buffing operation, right? Which buffing, is a... grinding, okay. welding, adhesive application, paint, anything <laughs> you need a path program for. That's so cool. Thank you so much. You guys have seen this before. Uh, in the shop. This is exactly like the unit that we have, but this one is bigger and is better. So this is a UR20. Um, it's a robot that has just a little bit of a longer reach to it. And um, I think it also has a little bit of a higher payload capacity. Um, actually, it looks like they're doing some different stuff down here too. Like I have to actually ask them what all that is. The, uh, but this is, this is really cool. I'm. I love, I love our Hyrobotic Cobot welder, and I would gladly, gladly get another one. I can't recommend this company enough. Super cool, super, super cool stuff. And you know what? They keep coming out with more. So I don't know. I mean, I'm going to have to see one of the other things that they have here. I think they have a plasma cutter that I want to check out. Let's go see what that is. This is the Cobot Cutter. This is a new system by Hyrobotics. Um, this is basically the same robot that I have with them, right? I have their uh, traditional welding robot. This is a little bit different though. This is using, it looks like a hypertherm uh, plasma cut system and you are able to basically put in place objects, trace what you want with the, uh, with uh, I guess the torch head and it will cut whatever you trace. Um, so this is really interesting and there's a lot of really cool like applications for this in a lot of different industries um the uh i can imagine that this is really useful when something like this unit is on a magnetic base and you can put it onto let's say like a ship right so you could go and mag this to the edge of a ship plasma cut a hole and then you know switch out the attachment and then go for a uh go for a uh you know the the actual welder This is a grinding robot. 
by none other than 3M. So, this is pretty cool. I don't actually know if this is something that you can buy, um, or this is just like a DIY robot that they've created, but this is super cool. All right, guys, so robots never end here at Fabtech. And this is just another example of a big ass welding robot. So, I mean, if I'm looking at this, this is an I-beam. Uh, must, that must be at least 5 eighths. This is a 5 eighths thick I-beam. What's going on here? <laughs> okay, cool. So it does, it did like a, I don't know, a one inch weave. Goes back, cleans the tip, comes back, other side. Uh, this company is really cool. This is like, I, I can't imagine what like application I would ever have for this machine, but like, I, I if I had one, I'd probably figure one out. Like, super cool. Again, this is uh, Vortman Solid Steel Solutions. Never heard of these guys, but this is pretty cool. I'm gonna have to pay attention to them more. All right, so wish I had more time here. Unfortunately, I gotta go catch a plane. It's actually leaving sooner than I, than I wish it was. Uh, but a lot of cool technology, a lot of cool robotics. Uh, you definitely see the explosion of cobots in every sort of uh, facet of manufacturing at the show. Um, they were just everywhere. So that was, uh, that I did not expect that. Um, really excited to see how robotics sort of continue to grow in the industry. Um, and man, there's just so many cool, this show just sort of kind of like cemented again in my mind how cool some of the technology and manufacturing really is. And I think how little people actually get to see it. So I hope that I'm able to show more people some of the cool stuff that's available or out there in the industry. And, you know, thank you guys. Thank you guys for sticking around through this video. I don't know. I don't know exactly what'll, what'll come of this uh, or how I'll split this up or how I'll post it. But man, it's, you know, just super grateful.